Eritrean President Isaias Afwerki just visited Russia and he had some interesting things to say about Russia and the world and the West and the relationship, especially the US and the NATO has with African countries. It's not a secret that Eritrea supported Russia when it comes to the UN Security Council voting. They voted no to condemning Russia and they never hit the fact that they want a good relationship with Russia and they don't support what the Western countries do to other countries. So this is the interview he gave while in Russia. We were against the imposition of sanctions against the Russian Federation. It's not because we are doing any favor to the Russian Federation. This is war declared on Russia led by Washington and NATO. It's very clear, it's a very simple thing. And as I indicated earlier, this war was declared 30 years ago, probably. During the, the, I mean, after the end of the Cold War, this idea of hegemony came, control everything, control everything, influence the world, divide the world into areas of influence. And it's not only expanding influence. It was a declaration of war because there was an, a, a concept developed by these guys to contain, 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 contain those who can compete or at least who can uh, share something uh, in, the, in, the, in the global scene. That was not allowed. And because of the background of, of, of the Cold War era, this obsession of containing Russia, containing Russia, containing Russia was there for the last 30 years. It's nothing new. If you are containing one nation not to grow, not to compete, not to, 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 to be able to make its contributions, then you are declaring war. I wouldn't be sitting here waiting for someone to contain me with sanctions, with obstructions, with confusion, all sorts of things. This is a declaration of war. And we had our position very clear, not yesterday or the day before, but we said this is not the kind of all world order that, 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 that the peoples of, 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 of all, all continents need. Nobody needs this kind of, of, of policies. Hegemony, control, and not allow people to grow and work uh, hard to, to, to change their quality of life. This idea of war in Ukraine or war between the Russian Federation and Ukraine is not true at all. This is war declared by NATO and Washington against the Russian Federation for the last 30 years. This has been going on and on and on for the last 30 years. How can you contain Russia? That interview was taken in Russia during his visit. And as I said, he never hit the fact that he supports Russia and he believes that it's not their fault when it comes to the Ukraine-Russian war. And he believes that it was NATO that started it and it was backed by the US. So he fully supports Russia. And he said that he believes Russia can be the one to bring peace and justice to this world. What are your thoughts on this film? I am Angel Zalalam. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.